probably should have start. I should have started the video with this, shouldn't I? Just a second. Let me let me get this right. Yeah, sit. There we go. Okay, now we've properly framed the shot. Okay. Brothers on the PS4. Previously on Brothers, we got a troll to throw us across a gap that led us to this bench right here. Where's that troll? He's over here somewhere. There he is. Big friendly giant. He's leading me in this direction. Uh, oh, I have to actually grab on. Okay. Are you going to let me on too, giant? Thanks. Thanks, BFG. All right. So let's... Uh, slink around here. We have to hold down L2. We have to hold down L2 and R2 this entire time, don't we? Let's find out. Climbing up here. That, that, that. Flourish. I should mention that I saw a bit of the commentary that's included with this PS4 disc from the filmmaker. Excuse me, the uh, director, basically. Dude's Lebanese, and, he's, and he has... He's speaking, uh, he's, he's somewhat fluent in English and Arabic. And he said that the language in this game is based, is a fictional language that is based on Arabic. So instead of just making up a language, he took, he took a lot of, he took Arabic words and phrases and made sort of a patois, I suppose. Which is an interesting way to do things. It's kind of like, it's kind of like what the Sims did with Simlish. They took English phenomes and syllables basically and used it to create a tone of gibberish that works as a fictional language in its own way yeah he's pointing that direction so remember uh, even the even the director mentioned this you hold uh, l2 the big brother will point in a direction because there's no map in this game it's totally immersive so makes sense can't see get my brain i have to get my brain right yeah to handle it handle juggling these two characters here. Uh, Alex Navarro over at, uh, what was it, GiantBomb.com made a big deal of, well, not a big deal, but he said, look, I play drums. I'm, I'm used to having my brain. <laughs> I'm used to having my, my hands not match where my eyes are, basically. <laughs> and I can understand that, as opposed to someone like, you know, Total Biscuit, who has dyspraxia, dis dyspraxia I believe. And for him, something like this is very troublesome. <laughs> but I think what's interesting about it is that someone yeah. like me, I don't, my hand-eye coordination uh -huh. isn't like that. But I should mention that I'm usually pretty comfortable playing with a gamepad when it comes to playing in like 3D shooters and stuff. I'm not that good, obviously, but I'm comfortable using dual sticks to control a camera and a human being independently, and I'm cool with that. But in this game, your brain, my brain has a different sort of frame of reference, so it's harder for me to make sense of where these characters are at any particular time. Oh, yeah, I held, uh, L I held R2 that time, so I can grab onto the branches. These puzzles are pretty straightforward in this part. Those grappling puzzles I did earlier, here's another, here's another uh, mid-air grappling puzzle. So we're going to release L2 and R2 and grab it again. So, I can understand why they did that. They're doing this somewhat unintuitive... They're doing this somewhat unintuitive... Uh, release the R2 button, then release, then grab it, then press it again in midair, so that you can grab onto something. I say it's somewhat unintuitive, because as you're jumping, it doesn't seem obvious that you should press the button again to grab onto something. Whoops! Accidentally let go. Stuff like that. Waypoints are reasonable, though. And that wasn't a hard challenge. That was just me, you know, letting off my finger off the button for a brief second. Which is always hey, a fear in hey. games like this, even when it's not really a risk. <laughs> yep. I got my, I got my brain. See, my brain is. <laughs> see, my brain's uh, getting lost again with these two characters. Got my point of reference. <laughs> okay. The game will mix it up eventually. I should also mention that in addition to Total Biscuit, obviously, there's uh, Brad Shoemaker over at Giant Bomb. I believe at the time, and possibly still to this day, said this is the greatest game he's ever played. So this is a guy who's like, you know, down with what? Super Metroid, and what's the other game? I forget. 
I mean, he was a huge, um, I think he was a big Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 beast, if I'm not mistaken. And Skyrim, Fallout 3, I want to say, he was a big fan of. Kind of Mordor, stuff like that. They were pointing that direction. Da. Oh, wait. Yeah, the kid doesn't want to swim. Yeah, the kid can't swim. But he can ride on Big Brother's back. Whoops, the kid died. Whoops, sorry, dude. Say hi to your mom. Wait, what? Wow. That's a terrible waypoint. I guess I why can't you just start it? Why can't you just start in the cave? You wouldn't have to load a new screen, you know what I mean? Weird, huh? Yeah, well. Even the director's commentary would mention that. I didn't see the entire commentary, because I didn't want the entire game spoiled, but yeah, it's fair to say that a lot of stuff I expected to have happen is going to happen by the end of this, by the end of this game, so... Okay, I right, so, uh, Get on, kid. Oh, you have to actually press the, uh... L2 button, or R2 button. There we go. So the kid can't swim. I'm sure that'll be important later in the story, of course, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this game is like Undertale. It makes people feel feels. So, uh, feels alert at some point in the story. Yeah, there's actually a bit coming up that I might get to in this video, which might be pretty disturbing. It's going to be a hanging scene. So I guess we'll call that a content warning for all the, bro for all the, for all the brothers in the audience, <laughs> so to speak. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll get you through it, don't worry. But yeah, this game's rated T for thematic elements. Including, you know, obviously, you know, death. Not for language. It, you have a tiny bit of violence. Yeah, there is some violence later on. I won't spoil it for you, but yeah, there's some pretty, there's some pretty, uh grim stuff going on as far as um, well not just people dying but um stuff you have to do to other people he can't get through little brother can get him through okay rotate yeah rotate the controller 360 degrees that'll get the big brother through so i just have to, I just have to rotate the right stick 360 degrees so again i'm kind of trying to document how the control works in this game as I'm playing it. It's again, it's reasonably, it's reasonably taught. <laughs> I mean, not fraught, but taught, and that's good to know for a game like this. And control really isn't a problem, at least for the most part. I'm holding the uh, right stick. I'm holding L2 and R2. Got it. The right stick. I think I automatically dropped. So that's good. I gotta get my brain right. So I gotta reset my brain. Make sure I get my two characters where I want them to be. And the director mentioned uh, mentioned in the commentary that yeah, auto jumping. He mentioned yeah, there's auto jumping. He also mentioned that there's a bit where um, there was a time early in development where the camera was always centered in such a way so that the little brother would be on the right and the big brother would be on the left. And it just got too ridiculous to manage because if you were ever close together like this. The camera would just go nuts trying to recenter all the time. So it made the camera a lot more manageable by making it steady. So you can imagine the camera going nuts if I did something like this. <laughs> like imagine how crazy the camera would be if I did that. Because the director said, yeah, it would spin too much. Using the old camera logic they had. So they kept, they reined in the camera and that's very much to the game's credit. That's the sort of polish you gotta put on it. So I'm glad they got that worked out. So credit to Starbreeze and all for that. I can rotate the camera with the L1 and R1 buttons if I have to. So what am I doing here? That's the wrong side. Oh well. Let's see what we can do. So he wants me to go over there. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Got to stop there. Let's keep going. Maybe there's, maybe there's a way to stop it up there. Maybe we can throw something into the gears. I'm holding a, I'm holding the R2. I don't know what that does. 
I held down R2, but apparently didn't do anything. L2. Sometimes one brother will interact with something and then the court and then the other one won't do anything with it. It's worth experimenting a little bit. No, wait, what's this? Yep, we can probably throw this into the gear. Yeah, I see you working. Okay, let's see how this works. Again, you gotta, you gotta have a good camera for a scene like this. Uh, let me even drop it. Okay, can I slide it through? No, pull it out. Okay, can we go into that red thing? No. Let's get creative. If I can pull it through. No. I have to go around. Let's go around. Like moving a sofa. <laughs> yeah, imagine making an entire game based on the principle of two people moving furniture. Brothers without the fairy tale elements, I guess. Ah. Okay. So how do we roll this one around? What was it? Pretty sure that's a bug. <laughs> I'm quite certain that was a bug. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a bug. Okay, try that again. Where you move it. Can't grab it. Yeah, it's stuck. Gosh darn it. I was afraid something like this would happen in a game like this. <laughs> no, you can't fix everything. I might have just gone the wrong way with it. But... Yeah, I'm holding down L2 and R2 and nothing's happening. Yeah, it's just stuck in a rug cycle. I would blame myself, but I think the game, uh, did, the game did something it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Stuff broke. Yeah, yeah, something happened, as Windows 10 likes to say. Something happened. Which is still the most hilariously vague error message I've ever seen on a computer. Like, it makes syntax errors seem like poetry. Yeah. That's how we want to do this. This can be very interesting. Oh, don't let go. It's not yet. So this could be interesting. Let's leave it there. It looks like I'm pulled over here. Nah. Okay, get over here. Get over here, big bro. Let's see if we can twist this thing. Probably not. We can't squeeze it in this way. Yeah, 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 watch this. We can squeeze it in this way. Okay, I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Pretty sure I had to move a sofa this way once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Educated brothers. So where are we taking it is the other question. I probably haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here you go. See, look at that. Oh, I actually have really... Math. I solved this with freaking math. Yeah, there, see, there you go. Oh, this is an educational channel. Art and, yeah, art and math. That's how we do it. Let's throw it in here. Let's just stop it. Gum the gears. Ha! How do you like that? All right, one at a time, just to be safe. Okay, I guess we can't fall. Yeah, the game's gonna keep us on the tightrope automatically, so I guess we're fine. And I saw some hitching there, but we got an auto save there, so we're fine. This is apparently is where the game gets more interesting. This is where the game gets more gamey, so to speak. More puzzly. Okay. Turn uh, that way, I guess. OK. 
Okay. Turn the other way. I think this is what we're supposed to do. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't. I try not to cheat. I was trying not to watch all the commentary during this part. I think this is the way it works. Yep. Yeah. So I wasn't paying attention that much. I guess I kind of cheated. <laughs> but I still had to figure out what that puzzle was about because I don't even know what they were doing it for. But now I know. No, wait. Crap. I lost you. Eh, eh, get over here. Gotta get my brain has to reset. Whoops. See? Again, my brain has to reset. Yeah, we already came from the universe. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's go. That way over here, over here. Okay, don't fall. See, again, speedrunners will probably have a lot of fun with this. I'm trying to do the dual joystick speedrun. One player, of course, but I think you can play with two players. I'm sure you could, actually. Yeah, auto jumping. I think he said this came from uh, Ocarina of Time. The director said it came from Ocarina of Time. But I want to say there are some other games that. They did auto jumping before Ocarina. I'm trying to remember which ones. There are probably games where you couldn't jump. I want to say, I think Zelda did that. Yeah, the original Zelda, Link to Link the Past, did auto jump. Where well, you would auto jump down, you know, plateaus and stuff. Okay, hold L2. Yep, then R2. There you go. Now, how will Big Bro get up here? No. Nope. He's got to go down the other way. Uh, hmm. Just a second. There you go. Ha! Well, you have to hold it down. Hold the button down. So I, have hold, I have to hold down R2. You grab onto it. Hold the... Whoops! You have to, you have to press R2 in the air, I guess. So, so hold R2 in the air. Hold on to it, and I will hold down L2, climb over here, and then he can let go. See, I'm working it out. And the game, of course, set up this whole thing by having the big wheel he grabbed onto at the beginning of the level. So it all works out. See? Reasonably creative. Wait. Uh, two more big BFDs down there, I guess. Oh, wait. Fish. What's the deal with the fish over here? Can't have the rod save going on. Here. I do like this layout, by the way. This, like, floating pond right here above the cliff. I like the stuff like this. I don't think I want to see it in a game like Skyrim, which is too dangerous. You fall off. Because there is stuff that you can fall off in Skyrim. In fact, there are a couple of dungeons I haven't done yet because I have died falling off. Am I supposed to grab these fish? Just a second, yeah, I'm supposed to grab these fish. Hopefully they aren't piranhas. Yeah, we're just holding down L2 and R2. Let's grab these fish. Probably can't grab them. There might, there might be an achievement for grabbing the fish. Yeah, there might be an achievement. I don't know if it matters. In fact, are there, there are achievements here, right? It doesn't say. It doesn't say where the achievements are. Maybe in the, yeah. Maybe at the end of the game I'll tell you that there's an achievement. Uh, we're at the title screen, I'll tell you where the achievements you get. Let me go that way. But again, the game's supposed to be linear according to the developer, so it's not like you're supposed to go out of your way to find like secret rooms and stuff. Which is what I think would put this game over the top, frankly. Making a linear series of puzzles to me is like it's okay, but like whatever. It is what it is. But it does make the game a bit more chill, which is always good. See? Very nice. Okay, we won't stop the video here. Let's make a little bit more progress before we stop. This is actually a good place to rest, actually. This is the other thing, is that the challenges in this game, okay, they're somewhat based on what you've already done. But you don't have to memorize a lot of stuff to get through it, which is good to know.
Yep, uh, let's not go that way. <laughs> yep, let's not go that way. So are we going left? There's nothing over here. Oh, wait, wait, let's climb over here, right? This wants me to go over there. But where over there? Okay, let's see where we, see where we can go. Okay, over here. So that works out. And now that makes sense. Again, no map, just the game's completely HUDless. Turn around. Let me get over here. Bill and Ted. Okay. So I held down L2 and R2 and they switched places. Okay, I guess that's meaningful. Okay. See how to do this thing. Hold L2 and R2. Grab it. Grab it. There we go. So where do I let go is the question. I'm not supposed to don't let go of the button. You die before because of that nonsense. Okay, let go. R2, sorry. <laughs> I definitely want to make sure I let go of the correct button. So I guess we can't grab on the same chain. L2, release. Okay, uh, t -t 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 L2, R2. So I'm guessing later in the game, they might have to do the stuff by themselves, I guess. I don't know. R2, rotate 360 degrees. L2. Okay so, you, okay, so you gotta keep it rotating. Let's keep the right stick rotating and hold down L2. L2. There we go. Keep rotating the right stick. Hey, hey, hey! Holding down L2. Wait, what? Okay, we're good, right? Okay, he's good now. I don't know what was going on earlier. Okay, we're clear. L2, release. And we have to rotate it again. No, we have to go to the other one. Camera has to zoom out a bit. I understand that. One player co-op. L2. We're good? Yeah, we're clear. Okay, stop rotating. Now what? He's got to let me on the bridge, though. Seems to be the way it works. Still holding on to L2. And release. L2. Good. Okay, here we go. Hold L2. Levers. There we go, auto jump. Okay, in the next order of business. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, give me that. R2. Okay, hold L2. Move it forward. I'm holding down R2 at the same time. Now I can release R2. Okay, so now what? Uh, R2. Rotate 360 degrees. I'll get him through the door eventually. Just hold down L2. There we go. Keep it rotating. Keep rotating that right stick. Hold down L. Hold down R2 and rotate that right stick. I'm holding down L2 at the same time. It's a button, a bunch of button holding. Puzzle, I suppose. Okay, getting ready to release L2. L2 release, R2 release. All right. L2. Let's push the left stick up. Go the other way, maybe. 
You might have to go the other way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Watch this. I'm gonna hold down R2. Grab it. It's L2. Move left. There we go. On the left stick. Hold R2. There we go. Hold L2. Push right on the left stick. Pushing right on the left stick. There we go. Yeah, at least R2. At least L2. And we're clear. Puzzles are reasonable. I think no moon logic, except for the whole grappling on the rocks while climbing thing. The whole, you know, release grab mechanic they had going on early. That was the weird. That was a weird place to put the second puzzle in the game. It's almost like I almost want to see people do it just so they know <laughs> that yeah, you might need that later in the game. That might be the hardest puzzle in the game I've had so far. It's stupid grab release puzzle when you're climbing. So maybe we'll go to the next bench and end the video. Where's our next game save? Ah, more grab puzzle, more grab release puzzles. Okay, up, release, grab, release, grab. Okay, uh, so again, I had to release L1, L2, and R2, then press it again while they were in midair. It's very forgiving, so that should be mentioned. Okay, not yet. But stop moving. Okay, I'm still holding down L2 and R2. Gonna have to release one at a time. Hold left on the left stick, release L2, then grab it again in midair. Like that. Let's get out the way. Hold L2. Okay, I'm still holding R2. Point to the left. Point to the left with the right stick. We're gonna release, then press R2 again. See? That's the trick. Okay. I think I got it. Again, the game doesn't rush you, which I think is good. I mean, if you're on a timer, I'm sure that would be way more fraught. But it's okay. If you want to play with a time limit, you can. Here we go. Here's a nice little bench. This might be a good excuse to end the video, then. Okay, let's get, let's get, get in position, boys. Get in position, brothers. So we'll hold down L2 and R2 and end the video here. This will be our cliffhanger. This has been part three of Brothers. Tale of Two Sons. A subtitle which the director doesn't like, by the way. He thinks the word brothers is the title of this game, but for legal reasons, <laughs> he had to put it under title. Oh well.